Hi guys, Steve here, and this video I'm going to show you how to tame a Rex. And if this video helps you out, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. Right, first of all, find yourself a good level Rex. That's a 145, so we're going to go for that. I always like traps you can build as fast as possible, because it's much harder taming it in the wild when it's moving away from you, and you're constantly getting attacked. A 145 Rex should be able to beat everything it fights, so I'm not worried about it dying. I'm going to go off to a nice quiet spot, hopefully. We're going to need two stone dino gates and one large trap. All right, face the direction the Rex is going to run in from. And put the gate down. Then stand right next to the post. This will give you exact placing. And put a trap in the middle of the opening, parallel to where you're looking. And that will give you a perfect distance away from the doorway for your trap. Oh great, an alpha. Now for the hardest bit of kill everything around the trap and on the way to the Rex. Otherwise the Rex will get distracted and eat everything on the way to your trap when you're trying to kite it to it. And if it's fighting anything, try and help it out so it hurries it up. This Bronto is almost dead. Leave the Rex to eat the carcass because once it does, the Rex will get all its health back. Right, now fly close to the Rex. Like I say, if you don't kill everything, it will go after everything. Alright, let's kite it down to my trap. It will usually roar at you when you've got its aggro, but if another creature comes close to it, it will go after that again. Right, now for the mechanics. The game tells the Rex that it cannot pass through the gate, because its hitbox is too wide on its hips. So with a new pathing mechanic, the Rex will see the gate as a solid wall that it's got to go around. Just like that. So the Rex won't stick its head through the gateway and trap itself by its hips anymore. And if you keep trying to kite it in, it just keeps walking around. Oh no, they have outwitted me with their new dino pathing. However, will I get around it? To get around it, all you got to do is fly up to the dino gates, stop in front of it and let the Rex bite you once. And the animation of it biting will move it forward onto the large trap. Then land behind it, switch to the dino gateway and move it in as close to the other gate as you can. Then place it down and you have it trapped. Let's try it again because my position with the bird was a bit too forward then. And I want to show you perfect. Try and stop the bird when it's within the gateway or just a little way past it. So when the Rex bites it, it pushes it through, steps forward and treads on the trap. Then get behind it and land. Get your gate out. Place it down as close as you can. And there you go, another one trapped. It's as easy as that. Let's get back to taming the other one. So we have the Rexy trapped. It's not going anywhere. Look around to make sure there's nothing going to kill you. Get off your bird. Switch to your crossbow or long neck with narcos. And start shooting it. I started off with 177 arrows. Let's see how many I use. This may take some time. So I keep skipping forward. Three minutes later, I'll go in to check its torpor with magnifying glass. Over halfway, it's angry, it has a little nibble. Let's carry on shooting. It's two minutes later, the crossbow broke, so I have to use my spare. And it's down. Then go to your bird, get your spike walls to protect it. Start off near its head. Put a flat one there. Hold down Q so all the spike walls snap to each other. Then build a spike wall all around your Rex. Because if you don't, something will come and damage it and ruin the tome. As an Arc Ascended, a coding game to do that is ridiculous. Just finish this up and completely enclose it. Right, now it's fairly safe. All I've got to do now is wait for it to get hungry. Now keep an eye out because I've had Allosaurus's walkover spike walls and I've had creatures teleporting into spike walls to get to your dino 
just when you're a few meters away looking away from it so it's stay with it if you can and keep an eye out for large herbivores because guaranteed they'll start walking over to you to go oh it's a little tame let's have a look at it and then they'll walk into your spikes get damaged start hitting the spikes so i wouldn't leave it at all unless you have to get meat for it all right it's a bit later take one of the spikes up do not leave a hole for any amount of time or they'll walk around and get in Topper's going down a bit you can give him a bit of narcotics if it needs it i'm going to starve tame it a bit to make sure i've got enough good food so it eats it all at once instead of going on to raw meat then i'll have better taming efficiency more levels and it'll tame faster i just wait for it to get hungry more go up the spike walls close the opening up again as they will walk in right we've got a bronto coming really close to it that's as far as i'd risk it so go up to it and kill it if you can or if not just try and kite it away i wouldn't let them get any closer as they're almost certain to walk into your spike walls damage themselves then start attacking them and damage your tame plus if you kill brontos you get some nice prime meat you can use a pick to harvest it or if you need more hide use the axe That's what I got from the pick. But on my bird, I pecked it a few times and got a lot more. So it's probably best to do that. That should be enough because I'm on times for taming. Right, land. Take the spikes out. Right. I want to make sure I give the Rex all the best food straight away. The best is kibble, then mutton, then raw prime meat. I've only got two exceptional kibble. I'm hoping the rest of the prime meat will tame it. Then I'm going to have normal raw meat in it just as a backup. Because if you don't have any food in it, once you start taming, it will start on taming itself. So what I'm doing now is taking everything out which isn't the food I want to give it. You don't have to do this if you're really quick at transferring over, but I'm showing it for the new players. So all I have to do is transfer all of it over to the Rex in one go. So there's no delay time. Go to the Rex, open its inventory, transfer all. It'll start eating the kibble first, then the prime meat. And it's taming bar shooting up. It should have enough. Look off the entrance again. Because now I've gave it food. But Arc Ascended Code's gone into overdrive and will try and find a way to ruin my team for me. It's filled itself up on the food I've gave it, so it's just got to get hungry again to finish the rest. Keep an eye out for any nasties that want to ruin your team. Just waiting for it to get hungry. There we go, it's had another bite to eat. Right, just to make sure I've got enough prime, I'm going to go off and try and find a baby to kill. Now, there's a Bronto, but that takes ages to kill. Plus, all the other Brontos in the area will come after you. And they'll whip your tame, so you don't want to take it back to your tame. There's an alpha, I could kill that. My bird's good enough. But I want to give you the easiest option of just finding any baby. There's a piggy. Has it got a little one? Yes, it has. Swoop down and pick that up. Carry it back to your tame. I shouldn't need it, as it's got enough prime in it. I just wanted to show you how to do it. Kill it. Then harvest its prime meat. Let's get you landed. Let 
remove the spikes. It's almost done, so I don't need it. I wanted to show you how to do that anyway. Block it up again. Because as it's almost finished and you're getting your hopes up, let's spawn a wave of dinos in to try and screw it up for you. Alright, look around. It's quiet, too quiet. And um, we've got a little critter down there. They can't teleport into the spike wall while you're looking at them. But if you move away a little bit, they will do. It's almost tamed. Land here to have a look at it. Here we go. Like I say, it almost always spawns in something to ruin your team. Because I went in and landed on it, they would have came after me, jumped at me, hit the tame and ruined its taming efficiency. So kill those if you can. And there we go, we've tamed it. Almost uneventful. Right, check around. Because as soon as I take that spike wall down, it's probably going to get attacked. Right, take it down. Demolish those because it's been damaged. Get the saddle. Free it. Take the gates down. Put the saddle on. Take the saddle with you because you'll probably be fighting as soon as it's tamed and free. Take the spikes down. I hear raptors. Yep, the alpha raptor's trying to kill my bird. It was waiting to ambush me when I finished the tame. Come on, get out from underneath me. My Rex knockback will push it away. And a Rex is coming as well. And some Raptors are coming. Anything else want to join in? Stuff like this happening is standard in Arca Sanded. So you've got to play it as cautious as possible. That was some quick levels fast. That's not just bad luck with all of them attacking at once. That happens all the time. Right, that's how you tame a Rex with two gates. But if you find that a bit odd, I'll show you an easier version with three. We have another Rex over there. I don't care what level it is. I just want to show you the trap. Right, put one Dino Gate down. Then what you want to do next is press Q to stop it snapping. And then stand next to one pillar, look out, and leave a space about the size of a doorway so you can get through. By standing next to the gate post, you create a V. Then put the large trap down, and go get the Rex. Get it to follow you again. The gap needs to be big enough so your bird can get through. It bites you through and gets itself caught on a trap. Then go behind, put the third gate in, and the Rex is completely locked in. Then all you got to do is get off, start shooting it, and tame yourself another Rex. If this video was helpful, please like. It'd be nice if you subscribe if you haven't already, and click the bell notifications and all to get notified when I upload next. It would help a lot if you shared the link for this video. I stream at a weekend, so it'd be nice if you come and watched. And don't forget to check out the other videos at the end. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye, and I hope you have a good day.